Hello, welcome to another one. Today we have another fur bearer profile in which I will introduce an animal that can be trapped and talk about their general description, reproduction, diet, and typical ways to trap. I'll also throw in a few interesting facts. Today's video is about Canis latrans, or the coyote. Coyotes resemble a small, lean German shepherd with an oversized bottle-shaped tail. Its fur is long and coarse, which is typically grayish, but white in the throat and belly. Adult female coyotes average about 25 pounds, and males about 30 pounds. Coyotes are highly vocal, and even more so in the fall and winter. Younger coyotes have higher pitched voices than adults. Researchers have identified 11 different vocalizations, which are the growl, a huff, the wolf, bark, bark howl, lone howl, group yip howl, whine, group howl, greeting songs, and yelps. They use these vocalizations to communicate with others in their family group or pack and communicate territory to animals outside the pack. A pair of coyotes can easily sound like a larger group due to the variety of vocalizations. The eastern coyote is larger than the western coyote and has slightly more wolf-like features. Recent DNA analysis has shown that as the western coyote spread east, it hybridized with eastern wolves with a little domestic dog DNA mixed in. That's why the eastern coyote is often called the koi wolf. Scientists have recognized 19 coyote subspecies. Coyotes begin to mate at age two and may pair for life. The mating season begins in January and lasts through February. After breeding, females search for dens, either digging one in loose soil or enlarging the den of another animal. Five to seven pups are born in April. The pups are born blind, but they can soon see. When they're eight to 12 weeks old, the female teaches them to hunt. From autumn until midwinter, the pups leave the den and begin to search for their own territories. A coyote's diet can include deer, most often in the form of carrion, rabbits, and mice. But coyotes are very opportunistic and will eat whatever food is available, such as fruits or berries in late summer, and occasionally sheep, poultry, and small calves. A DNR study showed that some coyotes eat porcupines. Researchers believe coyotes kill porcupines by flipping them over and grabbing their throats. As a result, many coyotes are injured by the porcupine's sharp quills. Coyotes are nomads. Males may roam over territories as large as 36 square miles, though females usually stay within a 6 square mile area. Adult male coyotes may share the territory of two or more females which may overlap the ranges of other males. Coyotes normally move two to three miles per day. They generally amble about at a normal dog's walking speed. However, they can reach speeds of 35 to 43 miles per hour when pursuing prey or fleeing danger. This makes them about twice as fast as a roadrunner and a similar speed to a racing greyhound. Usually coyotes live in transitional lands which are a combination of farmland and forest, but they can survive well in open prairie or dense forest. Coyotes prefer to hunt in grassy fields or along the edges of fields for mice and spend the daytime in forested areas. They are rare in areas occupied by gray or timber wolves because the gray wolves will not tolerate their presence. Most coyotes live less than two years in the wild, though one animal is known to have reached 13 years of age. It's difficult to estimate coyote populations. Densities vary from one coyote for every three miles during high population years to one coyote for every five or six miles during lower population years. Coyotes can be harvested by hunting and trapping. In Minnesota, for example, roughly 4,000 are shot or trapped each year. Trapping tactics for coyotes include dirt hole sets, scent posts, flat sets, and trail sets. Recommended traps are foothold traps, sizes number three and number four, with short chains and with good swivels at the trap and at the stake or in the middle of the chain. If drags or grapples are used, three to four foot or longer extension chains should be added. Snares are effective where legal. Commercial lures, coyote urine, tainted meat baits, gland lures, 
and skunk essence are good for attracting coyotes. Thank you for watching this animal profile on coyotes. Please like and subscribe. If there is a specific fur bearer you want to hear about next, let us know in the comments. If you have any questions, put them in the comments section and we'll do our best to answer. Thanks again from us at Outdoor Experiences and we'll see you next time.